In this video, I will be showing you how to access your app delegate class within um, the iPhone SDK, and then also to access properties within the app delegate. And this can be really useful for um, utilizing a dry or don't repeat yourself approach that's used in a lot of web development frameworks now. Um, and it's very helpful just to minimize the amount of code that you have to write or even rewrite. And then it also allows you to um, access variables that you that you don't want to re-initialize um, in, in every different view control and whatnot. So I'll show you how to access um, the app delegate. Um, so I'm going to create a new project, next code. Uh, we're just going to use a view base. We're not really going to do too much here, uh, except for I guess we'll probably define some uh, methods or something within the app delegate and try to access them from the uh, uh, certain view controller. And let's save this as web or uh, app delegate tut. But you can of course name it anything you want. Okay, so that brings us to our. Uh, Xcode uh, project window under classes, of course, like any other uh, Xcode project, you have an app delegate.h and .m. Essentially, the app delegate is just the the delegate. Um, if you have used the iPhone SDK at all before, you'll understand delegation, and essentially, the app delegate class takes um, it's like the parent of all the other classes. So um, it's the it's kind of the 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 actual application class the base application okay so if that made any sense anyway we're gonna go ahead and go to our view controller here that's already defined for us and what we need to do is import the uh, actually let's import this on the dot h file we're gonna import the app delegate class right here. There you go, dot h, and I'm going to just define an ivar instance variable, um, uh, and it's going to be an, a variable of type app delegate, um, whatever your full class name is, um, and let's call this app delegate. That's going to be our variable name, make sure it had the little uh, star there. So now, Within view did load, which you need to uncomment, we're just going to make sure to initialize our app delegate. So we called this variable app delegate, and we're going to say it equals um, app delegate uh, tut app delegate alloc and init. So that that references oh sorry actually we're not going to do it like this we're going to do it like this ui application sh shared application delegate retain and we just, we're just doing the retain to make sure that um, we can keep uh, we can hold on to this variable throughout this whole view controller so that it doesn't, you know, automatically get um, released or we can't access it anymore. Just make sure that we have that, we retain ownership at all times of that variable of the uh, UI application shared application delegate. So that's referencing to our delegate. We have it in a, in a variable. So now let's, let, let's go ahead and try to define some methods within our app delegate.h. So let's just do like a void method like um, uh, print log so we're just gonna print, like we're just gonna print a string like in the log is just gonna be simple um, ns log so go and copy that and at the top of the application here we're gonna put it in our methods and this is really mostly just to make sure that we are getting our app delegate um, class correctly and then we can actually do something with it is being outputted from the app delegate so I'm just doing an ns log here and 
and it's a void um, function, so we don't have to return anything. And let's just go ahead and try that. Let's do our variable app deli, and we're by the way, we're back in the view controller.m um, print log, and that'll do whatever. And also, we're going to go ahead and try, um, you know, setting a variable. So my stream, and we're going to say app property not time. And just try setting that variable and we're going to try ns logging that variable from this uh, view do load to make sure that we we actually reference it correctly um, you know what what we're going to do is in our delegate we're going to go into application did finish launching with options method and make sure that we set this variable, the string variable that we just got, which is my string. Um, just gonna say my string goals and a string look in it with string. And I don't know, it's like hello from the app delegate my and I'll put a star on the my string var. Okay, so that's that variable, by the way, you got to make sure to synthesize it since we defined as an app property so that we can access that outside of of this class. Uh, synthesize my string, and we're just going to make sure, just for good practice, to, we need to release this string when we're all done with the application. And here we're going to do, we're, and within our uh, view controller, we're going to try ns logging. That just to make sure that we can access um, this variable from here in a string, it's going to be um, app delegate dot my string. So we're in a slog in that, and then also at the end of this class, we just got to make sure to release app delegate variable. Okay, so let's go ahead and give that a shot, and it'll run it real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and go run console. All right, so we have here our message saying this is being outputted from the app delegate. So that means that our print log um, method is working from the app delegate, or which is in the app delegate, where we're calling it from our view controller, and then we're also uh, able to grab my string variable, which is within the app delegate inside of our view. Um, view controller and you know it says that so that's kind of all I have right now but also um, just FYI you know obviously you can you can you can almost put um, most of your applications code within the app delegate and just make it an, a method that can be accessed from within each view controller so that you don't have to re repeat yourself or rewrite re code that doesn't have to be rewritten um, all you gotta do is just put some methods in the app delegate once and you can access them as many times as you want it makes your application um, the code base a lot less and um, I'm not sure how much it really affects performance but it's a lot easier also to go in there and make code changes you know because you have a lot less code to worry about so I would highly suggest that um, you look into trying to kind of um, make your applications more efficient code-wise uh, by using utilizing what um, the, the app delegate by utilizing the app delegate. So thanks for watching, and um, yeah, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you like my videos, favorite this or like it, or whatever. Um, links to my blog and Twitter are in the uh, description box, so make sure to check those out. Um, and once again, thanks for watching.